we we here in you know what's up YouTube you know yeah this is Dan yeah just walking through the food forest kind of just you know I always like do this you know regular let's walk through in the morning but this morning is a little bit different because we expecting a hurricane you know idelia you know it's supposed to be passing you know by us yeah. It's not directly, but it's passing. We're gonna still get all the 75, you know, miles per hour winds and stuff, you know. So, you know, I feel you, I know the banana is gonna get shred up from from those powerful winds, you know. Few plants probably, yeah, but that's just that's just life in Florida. That's just how it is, you know. So we kind of go with the punches, you know. You guys are not deal with, you know. Snow, snowstorms and blizzard and all that stuff. When I lived up north, I dealt with a blizzard, uh, you know, heavy snowstorm, driving on ice, all kind of crazy stuff. So you move to the subtropics, it comes with the territory as well. Yep. So you know, I was walking around looking. Yeah, you know, I had the chickens out for for like well, four hours from six o'clock. It's 10 something now. I just have them go back in the cage, yeah, because I want to let the dogs out as well. But what I want to show you guys is is the, is the Roselle, you know, the Jamaican sorrel, how they're actually striving. You remember when I planted the seedlings a couple of months ago, I think it's in May? Yeah, so, you know, the Roselle is day length sensitive. Once the days start to become shorter, you know the you know start pushing flowers no matter how small the plant is it's probably gonna you know start push some flowers and stuff yep so we have a few plants down here you know which i know the wind is probably gonna push over a lot of them because they have shallow roots so once the heavy rains and stuff start we're gonna yeah, see it pushing the, the flower now, preparing to, you know, push, push the calluses that we could harvest them. Yeah, let me, let me show you some that's here already. So we have some here that's coming up. This, this looks good. Yeah. Yeah. So these I could probably even pick right now, but I really need them right now. But you know, that's it. Yeah, but we have we have you know two two different. I think it's three, you know, variety of the the Roselle growing here in the food forest. One have a longer callus. One is a more stumpy callus, and the other one we have is is the white, the white Roselle. Yeah. So. This is actually the the white roselle here. If you notice, so let me show you the difference. You see how this is red here. Yeah, look at the white. This is the white. So the white is gonna have white calluses. Yeah, yeah, calluses, whichever way you pronounce it. Yep. So I have, a, I think I have a, like four of these plants. It's the first year I'm planting the white. Yeah, yeah. There's another one right here. Yeah, 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 some mealy bug, bug there, I think, or uh, something, yeah, but they will get washed off from the the storm that's, you know, it's the hurricane that's approaching us, but I know a lot of the trees gonna, these, these trees probably gonna get pushed over, so let's come out and so let me just walk around, show you guys what's going on before the this hurricane come you know it comes I think tomorrow it's supposed to be coming through yeah so yeah so that's it really you know going on so yeah I was hoping for the best hope there's no flooding in you know some of these areas yeah I'm I'm not in a flood zone but you still never know with all of the flood stuff is it been going on for yeah, still have to be prepared and keep an eye out for everything. Yeah. yeah, so 
that uh, yeah these plants are looking good they start blooming and get getting ready to give us abundance of, of fruit yep so the, the first once it, it, it push off the first set of calices you know then I'm gonna harvest those and you're gonna get you could get at least five to six harvest off of them if you keep cutting it and not cut the branch yeah let me just I'll come down here yeah now I'm also looking for fruits that I could probably just pick and bring inside I pick a few this morning already yeah these these, these guava look ready yeah yep this one is ready too let's see if we find any more yeah so that's that's what's going on here in central florida yeah so this is the first hurricane of the season yeah yeah so we we preparing for that yeah i know some of the cassava are probably gonna get pushed over yeah yeah so let's see you know i mean one of the things too is that the, the dense everything is like dense so some trees gonna help support some which is kind of good you know yeah, but some some stuff is definitely gonna break yeah break off yep there's always a beautiful skies before the storm always a calm before the storm yeah so i think the storm should it should be coming in by tomorrow at night you know normally i don't know why storms come at night time yeah yep. Yeah, I guess the the water, you know, the nighttime the water get it have more power in those wa you know tropical waters, yeah. You know. So yeah, that's that's what's going on. Yeah, all passion fruit here. Yeah, Granadilla, that large giant passion fruit. It's going right up, 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 up. Yeah, this is a matinga. Which the limbs are fragile, so I wouldn't be surprised if I come and see one of these branches break off here. Yeah? So, yeah, I know. Yeah, that's part of the everything. The cassava here probably gonna get snapped. Yeah, I may, you know, I may do too. I may start breaking some, you know, chop and drop some of these right now. Yeah, just to prevent. The whole thing from breaking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I break off the top? Drop it, man. The less, less pressure. That you know, the bigger the trees are, the more pressure the wind gonna have them and tossing them back and forth. So it's kind of break. I'm gonna come back and break that down in smaller pieces. Yeah, uh, the papaya here, yeah, stood some serious, you know, hurricane two hurricane last year yeah so let's see how it, it withstand this this yeah <laughs> yeah oh, every hurricane is a little bit different you don't know what it's gonna come with so it's just staying prepared and yeah be on the alert and just have everything ready yeah so I'm always when it comes to like hurricanes I try to stay prepare with you know the, the 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 solar generators and stuff like that i think i do need to get more yeah but eventually i'll do that yep i have a lot of flowers here yep. yeah but you know i'm gonna keep you guys updated on you know what's going on here in in central florida you know all right so yeah, the the mango is putting out a lot of new a lot of new growth on the the mangoes. This is good. Yeah. A lot of new growth. Yeah, see the more more roads are here. Pushing. Yeah. Remember I told you guys it's day length sensitive, so yeah, yeah. Once it's, when it start the sh the shorter days, it's when it's it's gonna start pushing flowers and all that stuff. All right, guys. So listen, thank you so much for watching. All you guys out there who 
is in the direct path of the storm just be safe you know and get make sure you have everything your water yeah and everything else that you're probably gonna need all right so i'll be blessed with peace love happiness and kindness one love see you guys in the next video